from every place in New York, information is pouring out. Zeros and ones, the Big Apple's data, gathered by the city for the people. The revolution has just begun. Guiding principle is hold city accountable for what we do. With the news of the NSA and PRISM and all that stuff, people are scared about big data. What we'd like to think is we're doing big data for good, for regular people. This city is gathering data, processing data, and distributing data like never before, tearing down the walls between agencies to make the city work smarter. It's both brilliant and banal. I mean, just this morning I found out that there was something we know about boilers. It all has to do with like where it is on the floor and you know how below grade in the basement it might be. And then you overlay that with the flood area, the projected flood area for the 500-year flood zone, and there, boom, now you have your priority for where you need to go first to make sure that that place is resilient and can hold up in the event of another flood. Synthesizing the city's data can sweep aside the old way of doing things. Me, it makes my job easier. Rather than coming to work and spending the time shuffling through the papers to find where am I going for inspection today, this streamlines everything where I access the computer system. It tells me the list of the most important buildings for me to head to. So the city is challenging tech entrepreneurs to use the data and to remove the barriers between the government and the governed. We convert raw data from public and private sources to actionable hyperlocal knowledge. At the end of the day, citizens don't really care about this data set. They just care about information about themselves. If I live here in Soho, it would be nice to know what the median house value is, what the health restaurant inspection violations are. With processing that we do, we can give that kind of answer. The folks that build application using our data, they come and ask us, how about some more of this and some more of that? The transparency increases. New York is making the virtual world work for the physical world, so the city that never sleeps can burn ever brighter. Johnny Diamond, BBC News, New York City.